In this question, we're not going to be able to use our calculators. So we're going to solve the value of the square root of 52 on the number line. In other words, we're going to estimate where it falls on the number line. So I'm going to start off by just writing it on a blank number line right here. I don't know where that falls yet, and I won't write in the numbers just quite yet. So I need to find out what two integers are going to go between the square root of 52. Well, if you don't know off the top of your head, you're going to have to start multiplying integers together. You know that 2 times 2 is 4, 3 times 3 is 9, so you're probably not going to start with those numbers that are so low. Instead, we might start with a number like 6 times 6 is 36, or 7 times 7 is 49. Hey, 7 times 7 is 49 seems to be working and getting us pretty close. So 7 times 7 equals 49. In other words, the square root of 49 equals 7. Okay, the square root of 49 is definitely less than the square root of 52, and it's pretty close. If you're not sure, why don't we try 8? 8 times 8 is 64. So the square root of 64 would then be 8. Well, we know that 64 is greater than 52, so these numbers are going to fall on our number line. So 7 is going to be somewhere down here, and 8 is going to be somewhere over here. Now, if that doesn't make sense, if why we know that the square root of 52 falls between there, you may consider looking at it in terms of the root. 8 is the same as the square root of 64, and 7 is the same as the square root of 49. So if you look, 49 and 64 are between the number 52. And that's another way to look at it. So now we've found the two integers that fall between the square root of 52.